Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Uh, the land is blighted. Our warriors are dying. We lost Gorfang. Gorfang the mighty, Gorfang the righteous. But, good news. Here comes Kruga Blackbog. And these guys can be put into normal movement mode. And we can make this happen. He's probably just going to run. Ooh, I can lightning strike him. Oh, lightning strike means I don't get my reinforcements either. That's right. Is that better? Because this army's not terrifying exactly. I might honestly even just auto-resolve this. Like, I know that you're supposed to play battles manually when they're important, but I think I might be doing more harm than good. The lightning strike seems to make things slightly worse. I'm gonna auto resolve it. Okay. Yeah, my incompetence might be hampering us. That was a lot of money. Uh, it looks like our fightiness is going to. Yeah, we're gonna get a wall. Oh, thank god. Alright, I'm gonna eat the captives, I think. Oh, nice! And Onirath the Manslayer is done for. Ah, oh, I can't get him. Shoot. Well, I could go. I could take us into march mode and run around in front of him. Prevent him from uh, getting away. And I think I actually may be able to also move us out of the corruption. So let's do that. Yeah, once we cross the river, I don't I don't see the uh the attrition mark anymore. Alright, you're not going anywhere. You are free to keep recruiting. So we're gonna have three more turns. Of recruiting, no matter what we do. Best case scenario, these guys need to stay put for three turns. So, probably not a second spider, right? Like we just need bodies. We need we need to have more dudes in the army. Uh, we probably have enough ranged. I'll grab one more fanatic from the global pool, I guess. Uh, and then I'll grab a, just a normal Savage Orc from the Global Pool and we'll fill up from here. And then in three turns we'll be good. So I can recruit some pretty heavy duty stuff if I want. I guess they actually the only thing that's really available is the Arachnarok. Alright, is this army meaty enough? Or do I need to put another group of biggins in? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so in three turns... We are ready to rock. In two turns, we're ready to rock if I uh, don't mind losing the trolls. And we destroyed one of their armies, and one of their armies is just a dude. I don't suppose either of the heroes... I know we lost... <sighs> we're losing guys left and right, man. Well, you know, the game... Uh, the game definitely is not taking it easy on us, I'll say that. We have a lot of money. We should do stuff with it. Karak Angazhar might still be available to us in the near future. Let's get this upgraded because I really want to be able to recruit black orcs here. And then I guess we start um, we start pulling in another another lord, right? Like I got to keep going. Interesting. Plus two leadership within foreign territory. Uh, that is a pretty bad one. Grutter Tifraba it is. We just we just have to build up another army. So where would be the best place to do it? Hold on. Let's 
Let's not rush into this. Where are we very well developed? Ekrin's pretty well developed, right? Not really. Actually, the only thing that's well developed in Ekrin is the giant hiring facility. <sighs> well. And we can do it in Dok Karaz, right? We have good facilities here, but we're using the local pool here for the next two turns. I guess I'll just do it in, in Pillars. We're in Karaz Karak. That would take four turns. That would take four turns. <sighs> There's a lot of places where we're like, we are so close to ready. Corruption, man. The corruption's getting really bad. Oh, no, wait. That's right. I undid that so that I could do this. Yeah, let's just... Let's start up a new army in Karazakarak. Karak. Desperately, desperately need dudes. Okay, so... We can start with cavalry and biggins, and we'll figure it out from there. Global pool is mostly in use. Yeah, I should have moved him into the city before starting recruiting. Let's so hope it turns out to be a pretty minor mistake. Alright, so he's going to have to flee... Um, Northwest or to the east. We're going to lose Karak Hearn. There's nothing that can really be done about it. Okay, he's going east. That's fine. That's probably okay. I thought he might try to squeeze through between these two armies in order to rejoin with his uh, with his buddies. Yeah. Okay, we did get a wall. Chaos Horde has poured in a, remorse a remorseless tide scouring all in its path. Yeah, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Yet even the most savage flood must eventually recede, leaving battered survivors to pick through the flotsam on ravaged shores. We are saved, they cry, heedless of the fact that tides are certain in one respect. They will always rise again. The old world has survived the onslaught, yet now another wave rolls forth from the accursed chaos wastes. Only by destroying all of the hordes and defeating their source, Archaon, can this deadly storm be halted once and for all. Wait, another wave is rolling forth. Hold on, we didn't get to the part where we felt saved. That didn't happen. I want that part to happen. Okay, uh... Grebit's face smasher. The gods deny such action. We send them after Archaon, right? Like... I need to coordinate with them. I'm assuming that, uh... That I will not be able to kill this guy. Yeah, I'll be able to hit him, and then he can run away. So do I even want to go after him? We can't let him go. Yeah, I get him. And he retreats. And we can't... Yeah, we can't get him. Oh no! We just barely can. Alright. Is that guy one of their legendary lords, or do we kill him? Kill him. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's a fine sword. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't. I didn't look. I think I was one of their legendary lords or not. So what is this? This is Ragnar Soul Shredder. Uh, let's have the Wong army deal with that. These guys need to get over towards civilization. Alright, two more turns until we have a real, full-size, totally badass army. At some point we gotta start rebuilding. Alright, I'm not gonna assign anything else to him. Next turn he goes into Karaza Karak. And we may as well start this stuff. We have a ton of money right now. Let's take advantage of the, uh, the temporary huge boost in payout. So what is it going to cost to upgrade this? 4500 Alright. Whew. 
What else do we have forces wise? No, I didn't want. Where is he? Here we go. So he doesn't want to join up there. They have 20 units already. Alright. You get to be the 20th unit for him. Alright, Dromar needs boss tents. I don't even know. Who is this? Who is... Is Mooga the guy we just hired? Oh, no. Mooga's this guy. Yeah, fine. Whatever. He'll, uh... His war board will help him keep the peace, I guess. Okay, you're doing stuff. You're doing stuff. Yeah. Okay. These Chaos dudes are not messing around. We didn't quite reach him, I guess. Whatever, they'll get him next turn. Alright, so we have two more huge chaos armies. We have another fight ahead of us that is going to be at least as ugly as the last group. Oh, hey. Recruiting shortage. Great. Fantastic. What a time. I guess there would be a shortage because we are uh, we're definitely carving through our dudes. Yeah, we just gotta get, we gotta get to uh, to all this free armor. All right, one more turn for you. Do these guys just commit here? Cause like the Wogs probably got it, right? Asinine mortal. You watch your mouth. Acid nine mortal. Alright, the Wog will probably finish them. They got like chaos trolls and stuff. I don't think I want to actually attack them with this tiny army. But we did get a bunch of free health. Or a bunch of free XP rather. Okay, so let's get the recruiting on. Get that spider building going. Uh, now let's not upgrade anything that's not totally essential right now. We need a lot of money for recruiting. Okay, so we'll have access to some real big troops in a little while. For right now, let's pull in some biggins. Do I want to take the time to recruit, like, the biggest possible troops? I'd love to get a giant, actually. Can I... Yeah, I can afford a giant. Let's start there. Let's start at the things that cost six time, right? So wait, here's archers. Oh, this is the local pool. I was like, do I not have access to fanatics? But yeah, not, not in the local pool, I don't. So let's just get um a unit of savage orcs. Alright, you're still targeting him. Please make sure that gets solved. What is this? What is this nonsense? They've like erected chaos shrines in my cities. I have to solve that. Nasty magic ready. Okay, I think we gotta march. Cause we gotta we gotta get to Archaeon. If we can drop Archaeon, things will probably ease up a little bit. Alright, can he do that this turn, or is he going to have to do it at the beginning of next turn? Yeah, alright. Alright, so we have two 
proper armies. And that's not Archaeon, right? I think Archaeon's up here. Sieging Karak Hearn, which is kind of funny. Hooray. Our Wong army has completely crushed a small defenseless enemy. Good work, us. Ragnar the Manslayer is next. Uh, can we get back into friendly territory with a march? Alright, good, because we, we can use a little bit of recovery. Let's transfer you into this army. Okay, good. Heal up, get the get the trolls back in good shape. Karaz Akarak does not really need anything else going on. Is this are you raiding me right now? Are you raiding me? My own army? Ah, uh, orcs will be orcs, you know. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's recruit some other stuff. Let's get some biggins, like I said. It's kind of hard to argue with these dudes. Uh, and then we'll pick up some... Fanatic Archers from the Global Pool. Alright, cool. And you guys are finally ready to join. All right, we have three big, fat, terrifying armies, led by a dude on a wyvern. The thing is, we're still... We didn't actually get any closer to a lot of our goals since the last time I checked them out, I don't think. Uh, we lost... Uh, what? The Redhorn tribe wants a non-aggression pact? I... I guess? That's... That was weird. <laughs> oh, Wurzak's back! Okay, uh... Wurzak's taking this army. Alright, honestly, he's probably getting his own army now. Oh, I garrisoned while I was still in march mode. Okay, well, we'll recruit for him next turn. So let's figure this out. I don't really want to run any further forward. I don't want to separate my armies. He's going to drop to 42, which is fine. 40 is the, the break point. So next turn we can, uh, we can cave. Ah, do I want to wait? Yeah, I think, I think we gotta. So let's put everybody in normal movement yes. mode so that we're not tired. Okay. I'm gonna walk this guy back to back to Barakvar. Actually, we'll do our recruiting over here. All right. So the Wog army lost sight of its target. We're just going to retarget it on Archaeon. Okay, uh, where are we at on our objectives? How bad is how bad is stuff? We are at 45 of total here. We actually only lost a little bit of ground. We can definitely make that up. The Empire still survives. How... How many... They're still in zero provinces, though. Well, I, I would guess that they will run out eventually. 
probably what's going to happen with them is the same as what happened to the vampire counts, where they run around and make trouble for a while and eventually die to uh, attrition damage, right? Alright, if we can, uh... Oh, never mind. There they are. Okay. Be at war with Clan Engrund in 12 turns to get plus 16 leadership when fighting dwarves and a very, very small amount of money. That's actually pretty good. Are we taking... <sighs> Chaos Corruption. Alright. I'm having a really hard time selecting this army. Alright, let us pick up Night Shroud. This might be a good way to deal with those siege weapons. I'm not sure what visibility range actually means, though, in terms of, um, like, spotting. Because siege weapons can shoot at things that are outside of their visibility range, right? So if I give the siege weapon 96%, minus 96% visibility range, it's still going to be able to fire on us because they're other units can see us, right? That's how I would expect that to work. We don't really need Earthing, though. I want to get Arcane Conduit. I want as many things that increase um, power reserves and charge rate as possible. And I don't... We, we almost never do anything that can miscast, so... Let's take this. Wait. What? The tribe's ready. He can't... For some reason. <laughs> oh, we are intercepted by... Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. We, didn't... we were nowhere near him. Okay, that's... That's, uh, pretty shifty. Oh, and now we can, now we can move this guy up here. I would go so far as to say that that is, that did not happen. Like, look at this. This dude's zone of control is here. We went to, like, <sighs> that's very annoying. I lost an army to their dude being omnipresent, basically. Get out of the march stance. I lost an army and a really developed character to a guy doing a thing that he should physically not have been able to do. All right, let's let's get a spider. Let's let's do the same thing with this army that we've been doing with a lot of them. Uh, you know what? Pull some black orcs. This army is going to develop a little slower. Okay. We had to reclaim some of this stuff. We'll uh we'll get around to it. I don't really have a lot of money left. Uh we have Yeah, I'll hire one more unit of archers. So I guess in order to be safe while traveling underground, you have to come up like an entire turn's move. Yep, yeah, he's, he's running out of time, so he's gonna go now. You have to come up like an entire turn's move away from the enemy army, I guess? I think we've got him. I don't think he's gonna be able to survive what we're, what we're about to do here. Ooh, that was a bright wizard, I think. That's not what I wanted. This. Do this. A decisive victory. After which we slaughter the captives. Well, he got to he got to move quite a distance there. 
All right, it's it's good. We're good. You stupid. I'm trying to get you to move the. You can move a little bit. I'm assuming that he will not reinforce from the position he's in. Yeah, I need. I do need him actually to move. Let's get moving. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Archaon the Ever Chosen down. Forces of Chaos defeated, however, temporarily. The Forbidden Rod. Chance opponent will resist damage. It doesn't seem to do damage. Is that, like, is that a tag that the damage is resistible? And it's the. Like, the self-damage, you can resist the self-damage, but the tag says chance opponent will resist damage because it's almost exclusively used on things that do damage to opponents. Is that maybe what's going on there? Uh, also, how is our fighting this so low after we just won two huge battles? Come on, guys. Help me out here a little bit. Alright, so where are we at? We are... We could pick up basically uh, individual combat skill, but I think let's uh, let's lean into this stuff. We're gonna be sacking some settlements in the near future, I think. So we managed to pull down Archaon the Ever Chosen. I don't know how much time that gives us, but we get, basically we gotta close the game as quickly as possible here. Oh yeah. Rotate the camera so that I'm not disoriented. Uh, we should probably actually give Krug a Black Bog individual combat skills because he's pretty badass. Yeah, let's lead into this line. Kill everything. Go yeah, recolonize. Karak Hearn is one of the ones that was on our list, right? I thought... Maybe not. Oh, no, yeah, it totally was. Okay. And that's interesting. It incremented from 45 to 46 when we recaptured a thing that we previously already owned. So, actually, we can... We can do a bunch of recapturing of things that we previously already owned. That shouldn't be a problem at all. So what else what else is really left? We need to find we need to locate and take over Ziflin, Norn. I know where Izor is. We gotta reclaim Varinka Hills. Kraka Are you Wow, that's not gonna happen until after RKM is respawned, that's for sure. Okay, so there's two dwarf holds very, very far to the north that we have to hit. The Empire and the Dwarves are dead. The Greenskins somehow are hanging on after all this time. Okay, this is over here too. Oh, that sucks, man. And then Karak Izor is over here. Karak Norn is there. Karak Ziflin is all the way up there. Oh my god, there is still so much traveling left to do. <sighs> okay. Who's even left? There's this dwarf family. Clan Engrund. Never. Ragnar the Manslayer's army is actually not destroyed yet. Right, if I put you in march mode... Is it possible for me to get you to a place where... No, it is not. Everywhere he can go, the chaos corruption is extremely heavy. <sighs> Migdal von Galbarak is not important to us. Whatever. So I guess let's just... Speed march over here. Okay, Muga has o Oakenhammer locked down. He's doing fine work over here. Uh, let's get some 
boss's tents up. Upgrade that. Uh, so this will be under control soon. This is going to have to be a boss's tent, clearly. Let's go ahead and throw a bunch of upgrades out here. Uh, so we need to... The best way to do this is probably going to be to get back to Karak Ugor and head north through Kislev. Like, it's up here, right? This is... This is very far away. This is a great distance. Okay, so Muga's doing fine. Actually, Muga... Muga's not having any effect. I'll crush them all. So yeah, Muga could... Just get a move on. In fact... His army's about to go a little nuts, though. Okay, all of this stuff is corrupted enough to cause attrition. This is, uh... Maybe I should just dismiss him. And then rehire him in five turns. That'll solve his, uh... His single obedience problem. But, like, I could just walk into, like, this region. And set him to raid. He won't take any of the attrition damage. He'll gain fightiness and we can, uh... We can have him pull from the global pool once it's available and then he can he can lead us north uh, you are mustering right now as are you we need somebody to take back all this stuff it's been a rough couple of days in the Empire good old Orcish Empire so the number of settlements that we have to claim is a complete non-issue. It would be impossible for us to accomplish our other goals without completing that. So there's nothing that we need to do specifically for the purpose of accomplishing the settlement goal. Alright, uh... Plus five obedience in all provinces does not, I think, measure up to this. Especially since, at this point... Treasury minus less than a thousand is a thing that I don't care about uh, even the smallest one. <laughs> okay. What if I went into normal mode? Well, any anywhere I go, I'm going to be out of uh, friendly territory. Yeah. So. <sighs> Maybe I stay put for a turn. Where's I going to do it? Or even, let's let's come back to here. We'll still get healing, but this way I can jump down and threaten this guy. You guys don't actually need... No, you just need time to rest. We don't need to do any recruiting. Oh, his fightiness is... Let's give him a little bash. Alright, let's finish out this army. Oh, yes, Black Orcs. Okay. Four units of Black Orcs will do it, I think. Silver Road's a good place to recruit now. We could make it a place where we can recruit Giants, too. But I'd rather have Giants or Doom Divers. I think Giants. It's going to be like all of my money for right now, but it's probably worth it having another place where we can uh, where we can local recruit giants. Have you come to follow me to greatness? You want to confederate? Counter offer. You will join my confederation. Don't 
counter counter offer me? You will join my confederation. All right. I made my terms very clear. Oh. Do I think I have to go defeat that Chaos Army personally? Alright, uh... All of a sudden, you can recruit really, really great armies pretty much everywhere. So let's pull a giant for this army. Just one, right? Giant, a giant and a spider? And then, like, a lot of black orcs. Because these are some pretty elite units, man. Black Orcs are good. I just... I I still don't have a good feel for what's effective as an army composition. So let's just go for, like, a big, heavy, super elite army here, I guess. Okay. So we have all these guys. We need to go to Karakizor and take it. How many settlements does this player have? Three. Shoot. Well, crap. If we do, if we go to Karagnorn, we might be able to force the Greenskins into joining a confederation with us, because we'll kill them otherwise. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you guys don't really need to keep healing, but I assume we really need their presence here. We'll lose 14, so we'll go down to negative 5. That's not great. Get the growth building. I'm trying to get up to having a boss tent in the capital uh, in Karakum as well. And then I guess, yeah, we'll follow. Like, we got a, we got a limited amount of time here. In life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so they have a they have a pretty big army over here. There's a lot of Chaos heroes running around assaulting garrisons or whatever. The Porter Princes managed to, uh, managed to do a good job of figuring out when it would be best to ask me for peace. That's a real skill. That matters. Alright, Muga. We need movement. That is what our armies currently need to give us. Okay, so what's he got? He's got four Arachnorok spiders, a bunch of spider riders. Doesn't really have, like, all that many dudes. It's mostly spiders. Oh, now, I don't know that that's a bad composition. I has my mystic powers. I'm definitely, like, a little gun-shy about moving, like, here and having him somehow ambush me. I'm leaving. Now's the time. Alright, you can just walk, probably. About time. Don't open. You snap you dead. I'll hear what you say. So I can shove the words right back down your throat. How'd some of that? Oh. I won a short campaign victory. Apparently that was, uh, that was all it takes. Well, I mean, we're going to go for the long one. Glory to us. 
The war will go ever on, for that is the nature of this turbulent world. Cool. We force confederation, and that's going to make our lives a lot easier in a lot of ways. So there are furs here. Beast layers. Okay, as far as I can tell, these are um, these are local to regions. So probably we want uh, probably we want this. This is a good this is a good settlement. Uh, we're gonna have some obedience problems for a little while on account of the confederation, but we'll be all right. I got plans. Uh, please quell animosity. I would like it if my armies were not falling apart. Well, actually, maybe we shouldn't. He's in underground stance right now, underway stance. Maybe we just, like, burrow out here to open land and uh, put him in raid mode for a while. Let him recover that way. So... This is an interesting army. I don't know if it's a good idea to use this many giant spiders altogether. I don't really know. To be perfectly honest with you, don't really know what I'm doing, in case that wasn't clear. Alright, so bam, done. This will be done soon. <sighs> this is the problem. And by the time we by the time we finish this, Arcan probably will have respawned and then we'll have to kill him again. <laughs> but we don't necessarily have to let them uh, recover to the uh, to the level of strength they were at before. Alright, so let's go let's go pop through all of our forces real quick. It looks like everything's Oh, I picked up... Because I confederated them, I picked up all of their legendary lords. Oh. I have a couple of armies being led by real, like, scrub-tier scrub lords, right? Muzrub Edbutt has a... Well, he will have an army. Yeah, Gretter Tifrab is getting retired in favor of, uh, like, Grimgore Ironhide, probably at level 26. I think the Slaughterer is a Lich or something, isn't he? He's like a spellcaster, he's got death magic. I'm very excited, I'm very excited for all this. A lot of good stuff is happening. Uh, can we please be extorting this? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, we should probably go ahead and upgrade that. So if I had if I had eliminated the um, the greenskins through combat, would I have gotten access to their legendary lords? I my my suspicion is no. Get your heroes away from my cities. I hate you so much. What is this? This is a a hero that is associated with the uh, the bard. All right. Sly, the Sneaky, is doing good work. Let's figure some things out here. So Karak Norn, Karak Osgaraz, oh hey, I know that one. Where's Grimhold? Oh, Grimhold's south. Okay. Can you go fix Grimhold, please? We can rebuild this region. Nice. Cool. Supreme ruler of eight peaks. Are you though? Cause I'm the supreme ruler of eight peaks. I don't know if you know this. Okay, I'll have him rebuild Karakaskaraz, I guess. Well, we want it to be somebody who's not. It can be him. Cause he can just um he can just crack some skulls. And then heal up. So there's all this wood elf stuff going on over here. Oh, is that a giant tree man? Dude. Wicked. Um, I, we don't have to interact with these dudes. At all. Hopefully. I don't really want to end up fighting those dudes. Alright, so Karak Norn is rapidly gaining... Um, what do you call it? It's rapidly gaining obedience. We're about to have the whole region controlled so that we can uh, start issuing proclamations. Let's go ahead and 
check out our provinces, just like verify that everything is sensible, going well. Karak Osgal. Uh, I don't. There's so many things that we really just don't ever need to upgrade again. Uh, let us. Yeah, let's just leave this. Here we're good, as expected. Uh, here we can upgrade, but like, what's the value of it? We should probably buy upgrades for our income buildings, I guess. Northern World's Edge Mountains. Okay, first of all, Stunty Mine's good. Uh, this is six obedience, this is eight. So this won't correct all of our obedience problems, but it will help pull down the chaos corruption a little bit, which will indirectly help us. Uh, also, we can... I'm going to level this up, and that way we can build another boss tent, which is a greater obedience gain than uh, upgrading an existing one. It's up in Rib Pass. Okay, definitely not worth extorting. Ah, it's very slightly too expensive. Most other places are going up. The Black Mountains are in trouble. Blood River Valley is in trouble. Well, Blood, Blood River Valley will be fine. We gotta fix the Black Mountains up. Uh, we are very, very low on obedience here. Well, let's stop extorting. It's a very low income region. <sighs> Alright. We have a lot of problems that need to be solved all the time. So what are you going to do? I guess we gotta, um... We gotta go to war with these dudes. It's not really an option, like... Okay, Greater Tifraba. You did some fine work here. Plus six leadership for Black Orc units. Is this the army where... Yeah, okay. That'll do just fine, then. What does Slaughterer do? Okay. Check that out. Grimgore Ironhide. I just say, I'm pretty pleased with this. This has been a... been a good thing. Alright, Jufbar. We don't really have the money to pursue anything too aggressively right now. And all of our forces are being controlled by sensible people. Yeah, so I guess we need to get another army before we can really make use of this guy. Oh, that's right. He'll take... Oh, I should have given this to the... Uh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I know. Alright, whatever, it's fine. I'll take the slaughter, we'll show up. Okay, here we go. Here's this nonsense. He's coming for us. I should have known his hero was scouting us that whole time. That's fine. We can uh, we can bring Grimgore Ironhide over here. And you don't have a hero, right? We could recruit a hero. In like Stone Mine. We can pull a new shaman. We lost all of our big bosses. Yeah, sneaky. That's pretty good. Alright, so we'll run this army. Uh, we'll run this hero with this army, and then in the meantime, he'll uh, try to kill that guy, probably. Alright, so let's see this guy's level. He has on his blood forged armor and Gitznik. Wow, powerful reduction in, cor uh, in corruption. Ability gets Nick plus 36 armor piercing damage. That is not a bad weapon. Not bad at all. 
Wow. He, uh... He really likes this group of skills. Alright, so we don't want to change that stuff. I'm sure we have some talismans for him. Uh, not really. Let's go for... Even more reduction in... Corruption? Alright. Let's hurry and get over here before the, uh, before the Chaos dudes get on top of us. Okay, even at full march they can't quite reach us next turn. <laughs> Alright, we may have him raise an army. We'll see. Alright, we need more income though if we're going to do that, if it's going to be viable. Alright. Well, I think that we are, uh, we are good for now. Sadly, uh, trouble is brewing, but uh, this is going to be after, going to have to be where we call it for now. Come back next time. We're going to run... Ragnar the looter out of here on a spike and then uh, we gotta clean up all these chaos heroes that are just running around everywhere I don't know how uh, how likely we are to be able to get a string of assassinations off but uh, maybe the new goblin can take care of it and we'll see you then